Creating a multi-agent service process is simple. In this video, we will demonstrate our agent development framework in an augmented reality use case. We will show how simple it gets to develop multi-agent service processes if the right tools are used. The use case is taken from a German research project called ACROSS, where AR, in combination with product service systems, is the subject of research. In this project, automated service composition in multi-agent environments is part of the research agenda. Introducing the Visual Service Design Tool, which is used to manually adapt service processes. Here, the semantic search provides all available services by querying all agents. The main process demonstrated in this video is a maintenance process in which a Roomba robot has a malfunction. The user of the AR device is instructed to authenticate himself and the robot and then sees how he can fix the robot. At first, we have a look at our process modeling tool. Here we have prepared four processes. First, we have our authentication process. Second, we have designed a AR code reader service. And thirdly, we have a machine identification service. Last, we have a meta service where the user should select the process he or she wants to execute. In this one, the selection is still not implemented. The selection is done by the user on the AR device. So we open our agent view, request all available agent actions and import the suitable ones into our process. We are now able to select this service as last service in our service composition. After the service has been selected, we need to assign its parameters. Here, for example, the second parameter is the text displayed on the screen. The third parameter is the input for the selection. The output is saved in a uh, selection object. Now we are done with the specification and can deploy the process into an interpretation agent which is running in the backend. Here you can see an overview of the running interpreter agent providing the just deployed process. Now let's look how the execution of our new service looks like. At the top left, we see our process, which is executed. At the top right, we see Asgard, our runtime environment monitor, which illustrates the running agents and the communications between them. At the bottom left, we see how the interpreter agent is stepping through our process. At the bottom right, we see the RR device showing our UI and providing a camera. We now start our app, which initially triggers the starter process running in the backend. At the same time, you can see in Asgard how the agent communicate and in the interpreter UI how the service is started. Following the process flow, the user is asked to authenticate with his QR code. After scanning it, the user is identified and a selection of processes is provided. After we have selected the maintenance process, it is being executed. To identify the machine which should be maintained, the user is being asked to scan the QR code, which will finally be on the Roomba robot. The app on the system knows which machine and which related data to process. In the case shown in this video, no problem are being recognized, therefore the user gets the information that all problems are solved. However, for the demo, we intend to have a Roomba robot showing a failure with regards to the connectivity between the robot and its related camera. In this case, we will show an instruction of how the user can solve the problem. Upon doing this, the process again shows a note that all problems are solved. With this demonstration, we have shown how simple service composition consisting of multi-agent implementations can be arranged. 
Future work on this subject will be the automated service composition during runtime and the selection of services regarding their quality of service parameters. So try it yourself, it's open source.